Action SA in the Western Cape is threatening to go to the legal route of a permit which allows the city of Cape Town to pump water waste into the ocean. The permit by the Department of Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment allows for the release of screened sewage into the ocean at several beaches. You'll remember some beaches had been closed in Cape Town during the festive season due to the sewage spillage. For more on this, we are now joined by Action SA's Western Cape Chairperson, Michelle Wasserman. Good evening, Michelle. Thank you very much for joining us here on Newsnight. First and foremost, just talk us through Action SA's concerns with regards to this permit and how the sewage waste is being disposed of uh, into the oceans in Cape Town. Thank you so much for having me. It's such an important issue. Our main concern is around the fact that raw sewage is being pumped into a marine protected area um, and that this has an extremely negative impact on marine life, on human health and also on the tourism economy. Um, and this is the reason why we're going to be challenging that permit in court. Uh, Michelle, there's, there's an article online that talks about an incident you personally had while kayaking out to the spillage area. Just talk us through your experience and what you saw. That's right. I'd read that the city was saying that there wasn't raw sewage being pumped into the ocean, but I'd also read that researchers and scientists, kayakers and surfers were saying that their experience was different, that there was raw sewage. And I'd read also the permit which set out the um, process that the sewage goes through, and it seemed to me that the sewage wasn't being treated, that it was in fact raw, and just going through screens and rather through a treatment process. So I thought I would go and see for myself what was happening. Um, I've been kayaking for years, and so I asked Kazkazi Kayaks, who are based in Three Anchor Bay, to take me out there. Um, so we went out from Three Anchor Bay, and we had been told by the kayakers that you just have to look for the seagulls on the ocean to know where exactly the outfall pipe exit would be. So we paddled the about one and a half, 1.7 kilometers out into the ocean, and then we saw the hundreds of seagulls that were sitting on the water and flying over the water and obviously eating what was in the water below them um, and then paddled into that area and noticed that there was there were bits and pieces coming floating up from the bottom of the ocean and then as we paddled a bit further we paddled into this absolutely revolting um, mess of raw brown sewage that was lying on the top of the water these um, slicks of what was obviously sewage, and then also flowing, floating past us. We did see condoms, sanitary pads, tampons, earbuds. Um, so it was, it was a horrible experience to be out there. We had a seal that was playing close by to us. The seagulls were all around us, and it was really an absolutely awful experience. It's extremely concerning because an acting MAKO member for Waste and Sewage in the Western Cape says that solid waste cannot pass through those screens. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, they believe that the sewage and the waste that you saw could not be from um, the outfall. What is your response to that? And also, what sort of uh, extra measures do you feel needs to be put in place to avoid this from going forward and happening again? Mm. So I read that he had said that, and I've also spoken to researchers and scientists who say that when the sieves, so the sewage is just pushed through sieves, and when the sieves are removed to be cleaned, it is possible for these solids to go through. But what I would really like to say is that no matter whether these things are in solid form or whether they are in mashed up and sieved form, we really don't want raw sewage to be pumped into the oceans. So going forward, what we want the city to do is acknowledge the problem. Um, there's been a lot of denialism around this, saying that it's not happening or that the sewage is treated, which it's not. So what we want is to have the sewage treated to the extent that there isn't anything that is harmful to either humans or the marine environment that is then pumped into the ocean. We must bear in mind that this is a marine protected area and there's very specific legislation that says that you can't pump this kind of thing into a marine protected area. But just to counter what you're saying, the city has said mm -hmm. that the marine, um, the limits of the sewage, it, it, it is within the limits of the marine environmental standards and that it is safe to be dumped into the ocean. Is Action SA uh, uh, sure and, and of the view that this is untrue? 
Yes, there was a study done by the CSIR, which the city does rely on, but scientists and researchers have debunked what was contained in that, um, in that report. And they said specifically in the debunking of that study that what the study didn't take into account was the accumulation of chemicals in marine living organisms. So what happens in marine animals is that they take in the chemicals and toxins, but these accumulate in their bodies. They don't pass through. And that report didn't take that into account at all. Mm -hmm. um, I think what is also important to mention is that some of these scientists and researchers are going to be present at a community meeting on the 9th of March at the Camps Bay High, and the people can come along and hear for themselves what researchers and scientists are saying about the negative impact of chemicals, hormones, antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, toxins um, on the environment and on human health. And when you engage with people from the Western Cape and, and in Cape Town and the surrounding areas, are they aware that this is happening? And what are their thoughts and what are some of their concerns? To a large extent, no. People haven't been aware. When I tell people that this is what we're busy with and there are these three pipes that do pump raw sewage into the environment, people are generally, well, I haven't come across anyone who hasn't been absolutely horrified. Um, so the community really is extremely concerned. A lot of people have had experiences. When you talk to the surfers and the kayaks, kayakers, they've had experiences of being in sewage, of people becoming sick because of, of being in the water, and they really want something done about it. They don't want this to go on. Um, it is completely unacceptable. And then just lastly, uh, what are your concerns with regards to, or how rather are you going to tackle um, this appeal uh, for this permit? And, and if you are unsuccessful in appealing it, what are the next steps that you are planning to take to make sure that the beaches in the Western Cape are safe? Well, we filed our appeal against the issuing of the permit, and we did receive correspondence from the department that said um, that where the minister had actually taken the decision herself, there wasn't the, an appeal process wasn't the proper process, that actually the next step would have to be the High Court. So what we're doing at the moment is consulting with our legal representatives and considering whether we will be approaching the court on the basis of a review of the permit, of the decision to grant the permit, whether it will be for a declaratory order or whether it will be for an interdict. So that is the process that we are taking. There are various avenues. Um, I think what is also important to realize is although the city has a permit in terms of the Integrated Coastal Management Act, there is also a permit that is required in terms of the National Environmental Management Protected Areas Act, which the city doesn't have. And that's a very strong legal point that we're also going to be relying on. Indeed, Michelle, we, we hope to hear from you once there's been some progress. But thank you so much for joining us here on Newsnight. Uh, we appreciate your insights. That was Action SA Western Cape Chair Michelle Vassaman just chatting to us about the way that sewage is being disposed of in the Western Cape. Uh, some of that sewage is being dumped into the ocean, and Action SA is looking to appeal uh, that permit that has been granted.